One of X1's biggest fight cards takes place Saturday night, 5 p.m. at the Blaisdell Arena. They will feature five championship fights, as well as a middleweight tournament featuring Nico Vitale, and also the MMA debut of Mia St. John. The Star Bulletin caught up with Mia St. John, where she talked about her first mixed martial arts fight and the transition from boxing to MMA, and her thoughts on what it's going to be like Saturday night. My dad put me into Taekwondo when I was six years old. And you have to remember, I'm a little bit older, so this was back in the 70s when Bruce Lee was big and everybody was doing martial arts. And um, my dad was no exception. So he um, was in Taekwondo, my brother was a fighter, um, and he put me into it. And I, I didn't fall in love with it immediately. It took years for me to actually love the sport. I, and I actually didn't fall in love with it until I was probably 20, 21, finally... Um, Don King made me an offer to go pro in boxing, and I was like, well, okay, I might as well switch, because by this time I was already in my 20s, I felt like I was too old for the Sydney Olympics, um, which was the first Olympics that they, they allowed Taekwondo. I said, oh, I'm too old, so you know what, I'm going to go to boxing, and that's how it happened. Promoters start calling you saying, just like Don King did, you know, hey, switch to boxing, I'll take you. And promoters start calling me and say, hey, you know, switch to MMA and I'll, I'll sign you. And it just it just started taking over boxing. Um, so it's like, okay, well, what are we going to do? Are we either going to retire or go with the flow and just evolve into the next thing? Um, and that's what I chose to do. Now, whether I'll stay in it or not, I don't know. I have no idea. The good thing is that the girl I'm fighting is new to it also. Um, so it, it'll be really interesting to see who learned the most, you know, within the last few months. And, and so we're both starting, you know, from ground zero. So we'll see. I, I actually lived here when I was 12 years old. My dad... Um, is a nuclear engineer and was designing a power plant for four years in Waikiki. And so, yeah, but it's been so many years since I've been here. I'm sure much has changed, <laughs> but um, yeah, since I was a little kid. But um, yes, yeah, so it was really exciting to come back. Well, yeah, I, you know, I always said that um, I would never retire until I fought in Mexico because my family's from Mexico and I'm first generation born in America. And I have my last boxing fight scheduled for April 4th in Mexico. And that is, um, that was really the last thing I wanted to do. I wanted to end my career fighting um, in my family's country. And so I got, I got the offer and I said, well, I guess that means it's time to retire because I always said I would retire with the fight in Mexico. So that was kind of my sign that, okay, that's kind of it. I wrote two books um, that are published by Wiley Publishing, and, and those will be out. Um, one comes out this spring, and the other comes out um, next year, which is my memoirs. <laughs> Reveals all of boxing's dirty secrets. <laughs> um, and I'm still doing the hosting and the commentating, and I want to stay in that. I definitely want to stay in entertainment. I think, you know, it's just, I, I love it, and it suits me, and so I'll, I'll stay in the business commentating and hosting, but I just won't be in the ring. <laughs> For the Honolulu Star Bulletin, I'm Billy Hull.